A human rights activist and legal practitioner, Mr. Akotwampao has appealed to President Okufuado to ensure that members of the soon-to-be constituted right to information law are merit-based and not party activists. Lawyer Ampao added that an independent commission would ensure a stronger foundation for the RTI implementation. The, the commission will be expected to sit on complaints by individuals who are denied access to information when the RTI implementation kicks off in January 2020. Lawyer Ampa was speaking at a stakeholder forum to deliberate on the implementation of the RTI law. West Africa has organized a forum for representatives of the Ghana Independent Broadcaster Association, the Ghana Journalist Association, and the Coalition on the Right Information Law. The deliberations centered on the challenges, roadmap, and structures needed to ensure a smooth implementation of the RTI law, which was passed this year. When it takes effect, the public have unfettered access to information from all public institutions. While the implementation of the law does not begin until January 2020, there is the need for a roadmap to ensure that the right structures are put in place before its implementation next year. A legal practitioner, lawyer Kutuampao, said the right to information law is critical to the country's fight against corruption. However, if not planned well, the law will become one of the many others left on the shelves to gather dust. Unless we work to change the thinking and culture of our politicians, our political parties, and our bureaucrats, they would all have a common interest in ensuring that this law does not become a reality in practice. Mr. Adobe Selassie Spencer from the Ministry of Information said the delay of some aspects of the roadmap is largely due to the lack of funds, but he was quick to add that the ministry is committed to completing most of them before its implementation in January next year. The panelists led a discussion on what is required to ensure a smooth implementation process. For the law to be really effective, it's a demand and supply issue. If we, we who are the stakeholders who pushed for this law to be passed, we do not work well on the demand side, we are going to have a problem really ensuring that this law is effectively implemented. If we are going to put these structures in place, fine. But we shouldn't use that as the basis to say we are not ready yet because Almost every ministry, I think every ministry, and a lot of the MMBAs have websites. There are certain pieces of information that they shouldn't even wait for us to go and demand. Put it on the website and even save yourself pressure from people. They agreed unanimously that the current structure is not enough to begin the process.